Ah, we take more of Africa. The British just rejected white peace. Oh no. <laughs> because technically their war score is zero now, I think. Oh, and I did get baited into attacking, but I wasn't prepared. Come on. Turn the tide. No, it's going terrible. <laughs> Just hold out and I will be able to send some reinforcements. Are you talking to me? It's... I hope so. I'm talking to myself. Oh, damn. Because I would also so like I'm... some reinforcements, please. Oh, I do. I, I know. It's just uh, the French are building up forces in the background. I mean, to, if the French collect, uh, collected their forces, they would have a sizable army of their own. They're a bit scattered right now on purpose, I suppose. And the British, while well, the British are being British. It's not a compliment. Let's go to Montpellier. Shore up the defensive line. How many British soldiers? I mean, I wonder what's the the British leader called. I mean, I wonder what how they how to justify this to the parliament. <laughs> what how the justification for this? War score minus eleven. I mean, it's, it is dwindling a bit, so... Yep, things are looking up. They're not looking terribly down. True, that is very, very true. Things are not looking terribly down. <laughs> Last famous word. Soon you'll die. Uh, I can't allow slavery. Apparently the communists are for slavery. Who knew? Doesn't sound right. Why would the uh, communists be forced slavery? Well, never mind. Anyway, more more health care for people. Uh, okay. All right. Stop them from taking that area. Like they're becoming holes in my. Uh, you know the whole hegemony of southern France. I. That was a I long time yeah. ago. Those were the days. Those were the days. Those were the days. And what's happening? I, I, I can't even understand or get a, a grip on the situation in Italy. It's been going from, okay, now everything is clear to, well, now parts of it is clear, to, I mean, it, at, least, at least it wasn't raining. Dubrovnik and uh, this other place is the most important part, so let's keep those under, under check. I guess I just need to... Uh, I mean, my leaders at least get a lot of prestige from all these battles. Yeah, that's something. They can't complain that they don't right have side. things to do in military. True, exactly. But every time I do an attack on one of these, you know, small French forces, you you would expect my troops to kind of annihilate them. This is 51,000 men against 6,000 men. But they lose 73,000, uh, 73 men, I mean, and I lose 44. There's no decisiveness, and they take ages. They're very good at stalling, that's what they are. Uh, but is there anyone we can have... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, can we have peace with France? Can you try that? Uh, oh yeah, France, surely we could. Um, hang on. Because then, you know, at least we would have one thing... Yeah, out. yeah, that's kind of what I meant by offering them peace before. Let's see, propose peace. Okay. Yes, accepted. France is now out of the game. Thank. And by game. Thank the Lord. Oh. And suddenly the Lord, I have seventy thousand. I mean, I could be. Uh, I could be praying to God. The Lord could also be that. Karl Marx. Yeah, the Lord could be a communist. Maybe this was his endgame. But yeah, now we have fewer enemies to, to focus on. Yeah, it feels like, you know, we've taken a headache pill and it's not, you know, it's not helping completely, but it's, you know, leaning it's in the right direction. Anymore. 
Uh, so try with Austria Hungary. Uh, oh, good point. Austria Hungary. Hello. Would you like some peace? Well, actually, I need to. Um, I need to get another diplomat. So oh. I need to keep on the time. Or actually, I need. Okay. I don't know what I need. I guess, yeah, I, I guess I need my diplomat back. Okay. I'll well, wait for you. No, diplomat actually, we must me. negotiate with the war leaders. Oh, okay, so we need to uh, we need to negotiate ah. with, with Britain, so we can't uh, get a separate. Ah, uh, the British. Okay, we have mine. Well, at least now 13. I can focus on on the British. Uh, yeah, but now we don't have to focus on France at all. We can just concentrate on defending. Plus, now a lot of my African territories were got freed from occupation as well, which is all good. All good. And I can send more troops to deal with the British overall. It would be fun to see if uh, France falls to some sort of communist scheme or anything like that. <laughs> kind of like a pyramid scheme. Almost. But with communists, which makes Only it not a as profitable. fun scheme. Vienna is still occupied, by the way, by Spanish forces. But yeah, uh, this is not looking too great. I mean, I, I'm winning a battle in in Dinjne, a little. It's very hard to pronounce these sort of. I mean, I'm not French. I don't <laughs> yeah. know French. It's only so much that can be expected of me. Oh, France is having a lot of internal problems. That's good. Good. But now all of a sudden they do have a solid army. Yeah, no, because they consolidated all their small scattered forces. Yeah. I mean, it would be an entirely different game if I were able to annihilate them in one... You know, like when you attack with an army that's more than ten times the size of the other army. Yeah. They should be pretty much annihilated immediately. Except this did not happen with the French forces at all. I don't know why. But it was surely annoying. See if they're, they are baited into attacking Barcelona. Perfect. Then it is time to back this up with the real force. And this is a newly, newly recruited army that will have to fight. Yeah, I just got and a new they, army too. They're doing all right. But they're, they're all, all right. part of Italian communists. Ugh. <laughs> Italian communists will rule the world. Ooh, Chairman! <laughs> Chairman, our new upper house has now been assembled. Chairman. Amazing. I want to be called the great leader. And no. there we go. There was 26,000 British soldiers annihilated. Excellent. The British just offered us acquired Dalmatia again. I don't understand how they can keep doing that. How, how is that an offer? Yeah. That's an insult. An insult to injury. Let's see. Ooh. Patient progress. And then the good news <laughs> that means that Italian Africa is now liberated. Ah, that's true. Uh, not that I know what you're supposed to do with it. Uh, well, that's another point entirely. I do like that almost the entire population of those said, oh, holy shit, there's a lot of people that emigrated to Dakla. 167,000. <laughs> almost, like, the, the culture is almost entirely North Italian. Yeah. Huh? They, um, so, yeah. Uh, it might have been something to do with the war. Then again... Yeah. Might actually, yeah, that's that makes a lot of sense since uh, Italy was so ravaged by the war. Then again, so was Morocco. Or I mean, yeah, but I mean, they weren't uh, uh, deoccupied, reoccupied, deoccupied, reoccupied. They kind of stayed occupied. Yeah, they, at but, least they were stable. Yeah, stability is uh, not to be undervalued. Uh, things. What happening is split now. Can I? I like, I'm defending Dalmatia. Why the hell am I defending Dalmatia? Yeah, there's a forest there. 
not to be trifled with, uh, but I will trifle with it. So that could be a bit of a challenge. So if I take this back, will they attack me then? Will they think that I'm... They are actually attacking me immediately. The AI is so predictable. Come on, army. Oh, why is 6th of February... Why is my there we go. newly recruited army so terrible in morale? I mean, when it's recruited, it needs a bit to... to I guess we're going so slow. Maybe that's back. just why. Yeah. Could be part of it. Definitely. Oh, and excellent battle in Split. Holy shit, this is an amazing battle. Holy... They lost 11,000 men in one Ooh. tick. Excellent. 5,000 now. Split. Uh, 4,000 now. 3,000 now. And yeah, now they, they have 77 men left. <laughs> and they will be in Ireland. still fighting. Uh, but it's more like... The days. Do you want to squash the uh, Austrian standstill army? Uh, I don't see it as a threat, honestly. Like it, it hasn't moved the entire game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I was just wanting it for the score. You and your score. What you can do is squash the army in Vienna, trying to retake. Hmm. Just a silly thing. Vienna. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Oh. oh, the British. But we should probably concentrate on, you know, the army that's in Alessandria and stuff like that. But I think the British, after the loss of the French allies, they have uh, seemed to back away in their morale and fighting capabilities. They've become demoralized. They do not anymore believe in victory. And uh, time to retake even more pieces of Africa. <sighs> yeah. This is a long war. Of, yes, this is um, this is a long war. Acquire Dalmatia. No. How many times do we have to tell you, Britain? And no means no. Are you hard of got, hearing? I don't think they got the memo. But yeah. How many forces can the British have left? 86 brigades. That's not that much. And most of them, I assume, you know, are what we see here in uh, in Italy. So that's at least 13. That's two. Or that's three. That's three. That's 13, 14 something. And that's three as well. So yeah, most of them should probably Ow. be around here. But yeah, I am thinking of making a big assault what, soon. What happened there? Why couldn't I attack? Ugh. I don't know. Maybe something you happened in Modena. Um, something terrible. There we go. Ooh. Yes, we like those numbers. Oh, but we don't like those British going around. Well, I will try to do a quite big battle now in Avignon before they have uh, dug in too much. Too much. Uh, it's a it's a costly battle, but I mean, if I if I lose as many soldiers as they do, it's still a victory since they uh, don't really have that many soldiers left. Okay, this might not be worth it. But it still keeps them under run. That's what matters. And it will be a victory. I'm quite sure. Avignon will be a victory. Considering the armies that I'm fielding right now, I don't think the British have much to say. <sighs> you and oh. your freaking Corsica. No, but, I mean, no, but they were love recruited there. They were recruited there. I, was, I just saw it. They were recruited on Corsica. You are in love with Corsica. Admit it. Yeah, I, I do, but it's nothing to do with this. It's the, that's beside the point. Oh god, this is a terrible battle. But, as I said, if I keep the British on the run, 
it's still worthwhile. And I think it's about damn time that the, my Dalmatian army can re <laughs> recover, uh, recover, Ugh. return home. <laughs> Words, <laughs> my mouth is tired from war. Tired from warfare. Oh, that's a good battle in, in Modena. You have the defensive. Yeah, so far so good. And... Hey, don't seem very convinced about this. Too. <laughs> so, so far so good. But we need to be really watching the numbers closely here. Yeah, and I think I will accept having trinket minimum wage as a policy. And I have 24,000 men up there. When did they arrive? Up in... In Novara. Uh, well, I think I will go for Alessandria. And keep... Uh, well, we need to retake all those, those areas. So what's the war score looking in right now? 4%. 4%. I wonder if that's enough for white peace. Should we, Maybe. Should we go for it? You could try. Proceed. <laughs> Did we get no response? Uh, accepted! Yes. Peace, in our time. peace in our time! And this time is not a joke. <laughs> and soon <laughs> Germany has declared war. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would just be hilarious. Oh, I disbanded my army. I don't have that many uh, soldiers left. But all the soldiers that are left return home. I dread. You, have you know what I dread and I have nightmares about now that I'm awake? I, I dread that sound, you know, like, dun, you know, that worst <laughs> declaration sound. Declaration of war. Yes. Okay, let's just get the soldiers back home oh, now. Demobilize. Deserve. This time I, it's for <laughs> real, boys. <laughs> But I still have a problem. Uh, this is like in Lord of the Rings after the after the uh, defeat of Mordor. They're still like, oh, there's stuff in Hobbiton going on when they return home. <laughs> oh! Yeah, true. The scourge of... Oh, God. The scouring of the Shire or whatever it's called. Yes. And uh, you might say that the Shire needs scouring. Scouring of communists, that is. Ooh. That's, that's very mean of you. Okay, I, I just need one more uh, technology. What to pick? What to pick? I need something. Keynesian economy. There we go. There we go. Finally, peace in our time. 